Hi, it's Mick here from Infinity Innovations and in this video we're going to show you how to add new batteries to your existing batteries in your property. So the first thing we're going to ask you to do is to ensure that your existing batteries meet the same SOC state as the new batteries that you're adding to your system. So let's take the Hanshu 3.2, which is this video is all about. These come out of 60% state of charge already inside the batteries. So your existing batteries, you're gonna to need to either charge or discharge those batteries down to 60% and then stop that there. So what we need you to do before you add any batteries to your existing system, you're gonna to need to turn off the power to everything. So you're gonna to need to turn off the power to the batteries, so just by using the on and off button here. You're then gonna to need to turn off the AC supply to the controller, whether that's an AC or a hybrid. But if it is a hybrid, you're also gonna to need to turn off the DC isolators, stopping the power coming down from the panels. So once we've done that, we are now safe to start adding new batteries to your system. Now we've safely turned everything off, we can now start the process of adding new batteries to your existing batteries. So the first thing we need to do is we need to disconnect all the older batteries from the controller and we need to move them to one side. The reason we need to do that is because all new batteries need to be the master batteries with the older batteries going at the bottom of the pile. So take everything off and put the new ones in place, whether that's wall hanging or floor standing, just make sure that they are all in the right position. So what determines the master battery of the pack of batteries that you have will be two things. It will be the comms cable coming down from the controller and it will be the power cables as well coming down from the controller. So as you can see from side on, we have two negative ports, two positive ports, three communication ports and your dip switches. So the first thing you need to do is you need to bring the long power cables down from the controller. You need to put the negative in the top negative part and the positive cable in the top positive part. Your communication cable coming down from the controller needs to go into the top RJ45 part and then what you need to do is you need to configure the dip switches of the batteries based on their position within the bank. So as you can see here we have this dip switch configuration paperwork which tells you depending on how many batteries you have what are the dip switches for each battery. So this is downloadable from our website or you can always get in contact with us and we can send you this over via email. You will also need to add your communication cables from battery to battery and we recommend it this way. You start with the bottom RJ45 part for the comms cable and take that to the next battery and plug that in to the middle part. And then from there to your third battery we go from bottom to the middle and we just follow that sequence all the way down until you come to the last battery. Same with the positive cables and the negative cables, the short cables that join battery to battery. So from the master, you're already using the top two parts, so you come from the bottom of the master to the top of the first subordinate battery. And again, we just follow that sequence all the way down until you come to the very end. Now you've followed that procedure and you've connected everything together, uh, so that's controller down to your master battery, your master battery to your subordinates and you follow the steps which I've just detailed here, you can now switch everything on. So I'd recommend you start with the batteries, bring them on first, then introduce the AC to the controller and then bring in the DC from the solar panels if it's a hybrid. If it's an AC controller you won't have that. Wait for everything to come on, wait for all the relays to click on the controllers so everything can click in and start working. And then have a good look over the system. Are all the SOC lights on the batteries, are they all green? 
do we have a red SOC light anyway? If we've got a red, that means something's gone wrong somewhere with the communication. That would indicate either a dip switch is wrong or there is a, a cable joining the batteries to batteries is in the wrong port or not clipped in properly. Also, check out your monitoring platform as well. That will tell you as well whether it's reading all the batteries. It will also tell you if there is a problem. But if there isn't and everything's all green, happy, everything's flashing, well done. You've just introduced new batteries to your existing batteries and you've just now expanded your battery capacity. So that's it from me in this video. That was just to go over how to introduce new batteries to existing batteries using the Hanshu 3.2 kilowatt lithium battery. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below or drop me an email and we'll happily get back to you. Thank you.